हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us continue with our discussion of pseudo color image processing. In the previous lecture, we understood about intensity slicing. In this lecture, let us understand about gray level to color transformation. This block diagram shows the gray level to color transformation. Here, as you can see, we are considering a gray scale image. This gray scale image is passed through three transformations. First one is a red transformation. green transformation and blue transformation to obtain red plane green plane and blue plane if we combine all these three planes we will get the pseudo color image so if we combine all these three planes we will get the pseudo color image here we are having an example where a gray scale image is converted into a pseudo color image by using the formulas which are written here as you can see here the red plane is obtained by multiplying 0.33 with the gray scale image green plane is obtained by taking the gray scale image as it is and blue plane is obtained by multiplying 0.11 with the gray scale image so as you can observe here the green plane is having the same value as the gray scale image that's why the output image is greenish in color here let us consider one more example where gray scale image is converted into pseudo color image here the red plane is obtained by considering the gray scale image as it is green plane is obtained by multiplying 0.33 with the gray scale image and blue plane is obtained by multiplying 0.11 with the gray scale image so as you can see here since the red plane is similar to the gray scale image so that's why the resulting image is reddish in color similarly we can obtain the blue color images so this image shows the x ray machine in the airport as you can see here we are having two images the image at the left side is containing the garment and the image at the right side containing the garment along with the explosive so this black color rectangular object is an explosive that should be identified so to identify that we are considering three transformations which is red transformation green transformation and blue transformation using a sinusoidal waveform which is similar to the full wave rectified output so here compared to red color transformation the blue and green color transformations are phase shifted as you can see red color waveform is starting from this point and green color waveform is starting from this point here and uh, the blue color waveform is starting from this point which means green and blue color are phase shifted compared to red color waveform so why these transformations are phase shifted if all these three transformations are in same phase will obtain the gray color image after combining these transformations that's why the transformations are phase shifted here to identify the explosive so this is explosive to identify the explosive this is the coding that is done where the value of red color is more compared to other two transformations that's why the explosive is appearing as red color and also the background in the baggage is coded with the same transformation as explosive that's why background is also in red color so the garment in the bag is coded so that you can have the blue color that's why the garment is appearing as blue color this is how the pseudo color image is obtained similarly here it shows one more transformation where explosive as well as the garment in the bag should have the blue color compared to other two colors so here the value of blue color is more compared to other two color that's why the garment in the bag as well as the explosive appear as blue color and the background as you can see the value is red color compared to other two values that's why the background will appear as red color this is about gray level to color transformation in pseudo color image processing hope you have understood the topic thank you